Hello students, today we are going to see J main question of most important chapter that is dual nature of radiation and matter. So in this chapter we have only limited number of formulas so it's very easy to study and solve the problems and these are number of questions which they asked in January shift. Before getting into the video, our channel is completely based on competitive examination for both 11th and 12th standard. So to watch more video like this and explore regarding physics, subscribe our channel. So now we'll see the questions. We'll see the first question, threshold frequency of a metal with work function 6.63 EVS. So the formula for the work function is, work function is equal to h mu naught, where h is a Planck's constant and mu naught is a frequency. So threshold frequency mu naught is equal to work function by h. So we will substitute the given data, work function is 6.63 EV, EV means electron volt. 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule. So, we'll substitute that one by H's Planck's constant 6.63 into 10 power minus 34. So, 6.63, 6.63 will get cancelled. Balance 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. If you are taking minus 34 to the numerator means it will become plus 34. So, plus 34. That is equal to 1.6 into 10 power 15 hertz. So this is threshold frequency nu naught. We'll check the option 1.6 into 10 power 15 hertz. Option 4 is the right answer. Second question: the de Broglie wavelength of an electron is same as that of a photon. So first of all, we'll take the relation for photon and electron. For photon, it's an energy package, so we can use the formula E is equal to Hc by lambda or else lambda is equal to hc by e. So this is the relation for the photon. And next one for the electron, for the electron de Broglie wavelength is lambda is equal to h by p, where p is a linear momentum. So instead of linear momentum, we can substitute mass into velocity. Okay, so now we'll go for the question. If velocity of electron is 25 percentage of velocity of light, then the ratio of kinetic energy of the electron and kinetic energy of a photon. Okay, so they are asking the kinetic energy with respect to the velocity. So we have to reform the equation. So we need kinetic energy here. So what I am going to do is I am going to multiply and divide by V. So here it will be lambda is equal to HV by MV square. Okay, so again I am going to multiply and divide by 2. So we can take this to the denominator. So which will become lambda is equal to HV by 1 by 2 mv square into 2. So, this will become kinetic energy. So, hv by 2 times the kinetic energy. Okay. And also, in given data, the velocity of the electron is 25 percentage of velocity of light. That means the velocity v is equal to 25 percentage means 25 by 100 into c. So, which will become 1 by 4c. Okay. So, in the place of v, we can substitute 1 by 4c. So, here lambda is equal to h by 2k. In the place of v, we can substitute 1 by 4 into c. Okay. So, here it will become lambda is equal to hc by 8k. Okay. So, this is the relation for the electron. And they have told the de Broglie wavelength for the electron is same for the photon. So, both the de Broglie wavelength are equal. So, we can substitute as lambda for the p is equal to lambda for the e. So, they are asking kinetic energy of a photon. So, I am going to write it as pH here. And they are asking kinetic energy for the electron. Okay. So, we will substitute the equation. So, which is hc by e for the photon is equal to hc by 8 times kinetic energy of the electron. So, we can cancel. So, hc, hc will get cancelled. So, they are asking the ratio for electron and the photon. So, the numerator has to be kinetic energy of the electron. So, kinetic energy of the electron by kinetic energy that is energy of the photon is equal to 1 by 8. So, the answer is 1 by 8. We will check the option. Option 2 is the right answer. So, next we will see 29th January shift 2 question. Two sources of light emit with power 200 watt. The ratio of number of photons of visible light emitted by each source having wavelength 300 nanometer and 500 nanometer respectively will be. So, first we will take the given data. Two sources emit the same power. So, the power is same which is 200 watts. So, we will take first one and second one. 
both the power are same that is p1 is equal to p2. So, first data is p1 is equal to p2. Okay. And they are asking the ratio of number of photons with respect to the wavelength. So, first we will expand the formula for the power. So, power is equal to n e where e is the energy of a photon. So, we can write it as n h c by lambda. Okay. And from the given data, we know both has the same power. So, we will substitute in the condition that is p1 is equal to p2. So, instead of p1, we can substitute n1 h c by lambda 1 that is equal to n2 h c by lambda 2. So, h c h c will get cancelled. Balance n1 by n2 is equal to lambda 1 by lambda 2. Okay. We know what is lambda 1? Lambda 1 is 300 nanometer. So, 300 nanometer by 500 nanometer. So, nanometer, nanometer will get cancelled. 0, 0 will get cancelled. Balance n1 by n2 is equal to 3 by 5. So, we will check the option. Option 4 is the right answer. Next, we will see January 30th question. The work function of a substance is 3 eV. The longest wavelength of light that can cause emission of photo electrons from the substance is approximately. So, we know the formula for the work function. Work function is equal to h c by lambda. So, work function you call it as a minimum energy. If the energy is minimum, the wavelength will be maximum. That they represent it as the longest wavelength. So, first we will reform the formula. So, lambda is equal to h c by phi. And in the place of h into c, we can substitute the value that is 1, 2, 4, 0, 0 electron volt Armstrong by work function is 3 electron volt. The so electron volt, electron volt will get cancelled. So, balance if we cancel in the third table means this will be 1 and this will be 4, 1, 3, 3 Armstrong. So, the wavelength is lambda is equal to 4, 1, 3, 3 Armstrong. So, we have to write in the form of nanometer. So, we can write it as 4, 1, 4 nanometer approximately. So, we can check the option. Option 2 is the right answer. So, next shift to question. For a photoelectric effect, the maximum kinetic energy of photoelectron is plotted against the frequency of incident photon as shown in the figure. The slope of the graph is. So, they have given the graph with respect to kinetic energy and frequency. They are asking slope. So, the slope they have represented in the form of angle theta. So, we know slope formula m is equal to tan theta. So, they are asking slope. So, first we will take the formula for the photoelectric effect where energy E is equal to work function plus kinetic energy. So, E minus work function is equal to kinetic energy. In the place of E, we can substitute H nu. So, H nu minus work function is equal to kinetic energy. So, this you can represent in the form of quadratic equation that is Y is equal to mx plus C. So, where C is a constant, so work function is constant. In the place of y axis, we have kinetic energy. In the place of x axis, we have frequency. And in the place of slope, that is m, we have h. So, slope is h, which you call it as a Planck's constant. So, we'll check the option. Option 4 is the right answer. So, next one, this question also they asked in the same shift. So, we'll see the question. If the total energy transfer to the surface in time t is 6.48 into 10 per 5 joule, the magnitude of total momentum delivered to the surface for complete absorption is okay. So, they have given the energy and they are asking momentum. So, for the photon, we have the formula E is equal to Pc, where P is a momentum. So, P is equal to E by C, where C is the loss of flight. So, we will substitute the data. In the place of E, we can substitute 6.48 into 10 power 5 by C is 3 into 10 power 8. Okay. So, now we will cancel it. So, this is 1 and this will be 2.16 and 2.16 into 10 power 5 minus 8 which will become minus 3. So, 2.16 into 10 power minus 3 kg meter second power minus 1. So, this is momentum. We will check the option. Option 2 is the right answer. Next, we will see January 31st question. When a metal surface is illuminated by a light of wavelength lambda, the stopping potential is 8 volt. When the same surface is illuminated by the light of wavelength 3 lambda, stopping potential is 2 volt. And they are asking threshold wavelength. So, first we will take the given data. In the first condition, the illuminated wavelength is lambda. So, the stopping potential is 8 volt. So, if the stopping potential is 8 volt means we can write the kinetic energy as 
8 electron volt where kinetic energy is equal to QV. So, we can use the formula. So, we can directly write it as kinetic energy is 8 electron volt. In the second case, if the wavelength is 3 lambda, the kinetic energy is 2 electron volt. So, we can write it as 2 EV. Fine. So, now we will substitute in the formula. The formula is E is equal to work function plus kinetic energy. In the place of E, we can substitute HC by lambda. That is equal to work function is Hc by lambda naught because we have to find threshold wavelength plus kinetic energy is 8 electron volt. So, this is the equation number 1. Okay. And next for the second equation, we can substitute the data. That is Hc by in the place of lambda, we can substitute 3 lambda. That is equal to Hc by lambda naught plus kinetic energy is 2 electron volt. So, this is equation number 2. Okay. So, now we need lambda naught. So, what I am going to do is. I am going to take the first equation as such which is Hc by lambda is equal to Hc by lambda naught plus 8 electron volt. This is equation number 1. Coming to the second equation, I am going to multiply by 4 on the both the side. So, you can write it as 4 Hc by 3 lambda that is equal to 4 Hc by lambda naught plus 2 fours are 8, 8 electron volt. So, this is second equation. Okay. So, now we will subtract this both the equation. So, minus, minus and minus. So, this will get cancelled. Balance Hc by lambda is common. Balance 1 minus 4 by 3 that is equal to here Hc by lambda is common. Balance 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Okay. So, Hc, Hc will get cancelled. Balance we can write it as 1 by lambda into minus 1 by 3 that is equal to minus 3 by lambda naught. Okay. So, we can cancel the minus minus also. So, now we will reform the equation. So, lambda naught is equal to 3 3 is our 9, 9 lambda. We will check the option. Option 3 is our right answer. We will see shift to question. It is a most important theory question. In a photoelectric effect experiment, a light of frequency 1.5 times the threshold frequency is made to fall on the surface of photosensitive material. If frequency is halved and intensity is doubled, the number of photoelectrons will be. Okay, so they have taken two cases. So, in the case of first one, so the incident frequency is 1.5 times the threshold frequency. So, we have a condition in a photoelectric effect, the incident frequency has to be greater than the threshold frequency. In the first case, the incident frequency is 1.5 times the threshold frequency which is greater. So, in this case, the photoelectric emission will take place. In second case, so the incident frequency nu is equal to 1.5 into threshold frequency. So, they have halved, so by 2. So, which will become 0.75 nu naught, which is less than the threshold frequency. So, the incident frequency is less than the threshold frequency. If incident frequency is less than threshold frequency, photoelectric emission will not take place. So, here the no photoelectrons will come out. So, option 3 is the right answer. Number of photoelectron is 0. Next, we will see last day question that is February 1st. The de Broglie wavelength of a proton and an alpha particle are lambda and 2 lambda. The ratio of velocity of a proton and alpha particle will be. First, we will take the given data. First one is proton. Okay. And second one is alpha particle. Okay. First, we will take the wavelength. In the case of proton, the wavelength is lambda. Alpha particle is 2 lambda. They are asking ratio of the velocity. So, we will take the formula. Lambda is equal to h by. In the place of linear momentum, we can substitute mass into velocity. So, mass of the proton is m. And coming to the alpha particle, the mass is 4m. So, first, we will substitute the given data. Okay. So, for the first one, for the proton, de Broglie wavelength is lambda is equal to h by mass and velocity of the proton and for the second one for the alpha particle the wavelength is 2 lambda that is equal to h by mass is 4m and velocity of the alpha particle okay so now we will take the ratio so here h h will get cancelled lambda lambda m m will get cancelled so balance this term will go to the numerator so 1 by 2 is equal to 4 times velocity of the alpha particle by velocity of the proton okay so and now, if 4 is going to the opposite side, that will become 1 by 8, that is equal to velocity of the alpha particle by velocity of the proton. 
for the asking ratio of velocity of the proton and alpha particle. So, we will take the reciprocal velocity of the proton by velocity of the alpha particle is 8 by 1. We will check the option. Option 4 is the right answer. Last question. Monochromatic light of frequency 6 into 10 power 14 hertz is produced by a laser. The power emitted is 2 into 10 power minus 3 watt. How many photons per second on average are emitted by the source? So, they are asking number of photons per second. First, we will take the formula that is power is equal to N into E where E is the energy of a photon. So, they have given the frequency. So, we can reform the formula that is P is equal to N into in the place of energy of photon. We can substitute H into nu where nu is a frequency. Now, we need number of photons per second. So, we will take N. N is equal to P by H nu. Okay. So, now we will substitute the data. That is N is equal to in the place of P we can substitute 2 into 10 power minus 3 by H is 6.63 into 10 power minus 34 and frequency is 6 into 10 power 14. Okay. So, now we will cancel it. So, here it will be 1 and 3. So, N is equal to 1 by 6.63 into 3 into 10 power minus 3 minus 34 plus 14 that will be minus 20. So, we are taking to the numerator means that will become plus 20. Again minus 3 plus 20 is 10 power 17. So, here it will be 10 power plus 17 and balance and here 6.63 into 3 approximately it will be 20. So, that will be 1 by 20 into 10 power 17. Now we can write it as 1 by 2 into 10 power 16 or else you can write it as 0 0.5 into 10 power 16 that is 5 into 10 power 15 hertz. So we will check the option. Option 3 is the right answer. Okay students we came to end of the session. So if you have any doubts or queries regarding this video please drop it in the comment box and also we have page in our Instagram and group in our Telegram. Join in the group to explore more regarding physics and competitive examination. Thank you students.